Never mind the clock that's out of order. Those are the 12 noon bells at the Basilica. Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to this edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we are going to walk through the picturesque town of Hardin, Colombia, and the surrounding landscape. A slog of a hike. <laughs> I'm nuclear free. Tree branch, or part of a log. Jarka. Sweat. El Parque Principal in the center of Hardin is busier on a Monday at noon than I anticipated, but then it shouldn't surprise me because we have had a week of rain in this town and finally the sun has emerged. start the hike and uh, to start the day and uh, yes after 12 o'clock a, a cup of coffee and uh, here in Hardin particularly the uh, coffee culture is strong as along the one side of the basilica in the Parque Principio uh, these are four coffee houses <laughs> to Cascada del Amor, the Love Waterfalls. Cascada del Amor, singular, the Love Waterfall. Anyway, for those curious, the uh, Cascada, it is uh, 35 meters in height. Sure, I'm hanging around the waterfall, and then the rains have come back again. Big mouth. The owners have named this cat Yubia. Rain. <laughs> Sense of humor. I don't know if we have picked the best time or the worst time, but this is a bat cave. There's a real fear factor here for uh, for bats. Wow, they are uh, they're uh, they're flutting around already nearest to the entrance. Cuando tú dices muchos, me pregunta cuántos muchos. Eh, una cantidad incontable. <laughs> What I have learned in this bat cave is that my sun gun needs better batteries. And the rain has stopped and we'll continue our tour around Hardeen. Well, now that the sun is fully out, uh, this property has caught my eye in part because it is for sale. Quanto cuesta? 65 mil dólares. ¿Y cuántos en pesos? Dos eh, millones. 250 millones de pesos. And uh, ¿qué es el tamaño de la casa? 540 metros todo. Todo. Okay. La casa tiene 42. 42. Años. No, no. 42 metros de edificación. Ah, claro. Ok, well, buena suerte con, uh, con tu promoción y uh, yo espero tú recibes muchas ofertas. Okay, gracias. gracias, muy amable. Look at this uh, cute restaurant on the way back to town. La Casa de la Mazamora and nothing like being able to pick fruit fresh from the tree for juices. With the owner Anna Maria of La Casa Mazamora, uh, here is a Zarzamora, blackberry juice, blackberry drink in milk, and uh, the more I look at the neighborhood, boy, the more enticing that price of the house and the lot for about uh, 65,000 American dollars. Bye.
By the way, Jardín, translated from Spanish, means garden. I, uh, I couldn't think of a more appropriate name for this small town. For perspective, we're heading back to the center of Jardín and the Basilica. Well, here is a mirador, a lookout of Hardin I wasn't expecting. Uh, we're at an elevation of 1,800 meters, and the town's population is about 15,000. And this is the cart that will transport us across the canyon back to Hardin. gentlemen will be responsible for my return. Yeah, it's going to be this cart that'll take us across that canyon. Uh, I, uh, I am not enamored with the stability of this uh, cart on the cable. Well, I must admit, this ride is more stable than I thought. The Parque Principio seems to be as appropriate a place to end this story, considering this is where we started about six hours ago. I, I would have wanted to pursue farther into the mountains, but we did have the rain delay. Nonetheless, I think what we saw would have been appropriate for a Hardin's surroundings. Oh, regarding this Basilica, the Basilica de Immaculación Concepción, the Immaculate Conception, it was said that the large stones were brought by repenters, people who were sinning. And so by hand, they brought the large stones towards its construction, which was finished in 1940 after a 20 year period towards its construction. Well, this has been another edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, local people, natural sounds, not a lot of money. From Hardin, Colombia, where we will see the sun set after a large rainstorm earlier. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Let's end this story uh, with uh, some more coffee. Uh, don't worry though, this is only my third cup of the day. Say, did you like this episode? Fantastico. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. If you like it, of course, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate all comments and all support for Bob is much, much appreciated.